Welcome back to the SGT YouTube channel. Today we're going to have a quick look at Bridgestone golf balls. Made world famous by none other than, none other than Tiger Woods. There's uh, four balls in this line uh, and apparently they will suit everybody. So we're going to have a good look and see what the differences are, see how they go. I'm going to try them with uh, wedge 75 meter pitch shots some seven irons and some drivers and just see if there's any difference see if there's no difference uh, i'm sure there'll be plenty of difference but just having a quick look here at the the four types we've got the rxs here the green ball this is used by fred couples it is you know they have two categories above 105 and below 105 so these two over here are below 105 and these two are above sorry so going back the the they're all called to a b this is the rxs the green box it's basically the below 105 with extra spin freddie couples uses this one then we have the rx which is you know the distance ball for below 105 this is the one that lexi thompson uses we have the to a b xs now this is probably the biggest seller. This is the spinnier ball for the over 105 swing speed. That's the Tiger Woods ball. And then we have the Tour B X, which is the hardest ball. It's the distance ball in the over 105, apparently designed with the assistance of Bryson DeChambeau and used by Matt Kuchar. So we've got different golf balls for everyone. And I'm going to start off by hitting some wedges with all four of them. All right, I've, I've got the RXS. I mean, there's so many R's and X's and B's. I get it all confused. This is the RXS. It just feels so soft. Like, it feels unbelievably soft to hit, to be fair, with a wedge. Um, This, this one is the RX. I've used this ball before. And it feels nice. It feels firm. Just miss hit that a lot. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I've, I've already I've correlated some, some really good data here to look at with them. Um, here, this, this next one is the Tiger Ball, the B. Man, it's the XS, BXS. They're all B. This is the extra spin. And this, it, it feels soft too. So it feels um, definitely in between the RXS and the RX. Definitely in between. And then we have the, I'll hit this one a little firmer, trying to get a little better shot. This one here is the X ball. And it's not like a rock but that's a better shot but it's definitely much much firmer than the others the others okay so here's the results they haven't all gone the same distance so some spin numbers will be thrown out but just in general um you know ball speeds are they're similar they are similar the thing that i did notice was that the rx S wanted to, it felt like it wanted to shoot a little higher and, and I know it's not much but it, it is kind of high and the, and the X itself shot at, you know, quite high as well. A lot of that depends on how I make contact. But looking at the spin, no spin on the softer balls. All the spins on the harder ball with a wedge. So it's very interesting. The harder, the, well not necessarily the harder ball but the XS was the most spinny. It felt the most spinny. Um, the RXS, the real soft one, I didn't know what to think of that. Um, but really, really soft. So, but it shows that it doesn't spin nearly as much as the others. So very interesting with the wedge. Okay, so RXS, Fred Couples ball, seven iron. Again, just feels soft, you know. Um, and I, I, I just don't love it, to be honest. It's too soft for me. If, if someone wants a soft golf ball that goes, you know, it goes pretty nice. It's a little bit out of the toe. 
Um, just too soft. It's like using one of those putters with a really, really soft insert. Just not for me. The RX, as I mentioned before, I've been, I used this golf ball last time I played. And I have used, well, I've used the last, these last three. So my last round I used this RX. Very impressed. It just feels solid off the club face. Not, you know, to me, it's, it's, a, it's a firm feel, right? It's not rock hard, it's firm. You know, it's got that distancey style. Have I hold it? Oh, ja, ja. Um, it's got that, that, you know, firm feel to it. But it, it's got that hot feel, if, if that makes sense. Uh, Tiger Ball, BXS, I've used this on the golf course and just being honest, didn't like it. I, I, it felt too soft and when something to me feels soft, that one I got a little bit thin, um, but when something feels soft, I feel like it goes nowhere with the driver and it, it may well go long, right? And I suppose the driver test will be the one, but um, you know when something feels a little soft, like with a say a Shrixen um, uh, Z Star, for example, they just feel a little soft. Then I feel I don't quite get the distance out of them. So, and it does want to, um, it wants to spin up a little bit for me. And now we have the X. I've used the X, and the X. Uh, it was very good, actually. You know, when, when the ball, again, for me, the driving distance is big because I don't have a lot of distance. So I really like it when, you know, I play a firmer golf ball because I, I just want that extra distance off the tee. It just makes the game a little bit easier if I can hit one or, you know, even two clubs less in. So I thought I'll try the, the BX because I'd tried the BXS before and, and really didn't, I didn't love it. And the BX, it was what I expected, but um, you know, it's nice and firm. It feels really hot off the face. You know, that's definitely a louder sound acoustically. It feels, oh, go in. It feels uh, good, but definitely hard. I do sometimes worry if I tread on one, I sometimes worry how far it's gonna go. That's pretty good, like I, I did flush that, I hit that really good. So there's the, the four different balls with the seven iron. Okay, so here we've got the seven iron. You can see on the left hand picture the, the flight was almost identical with everyone. I actually hit him, I've hit that bunch pretty good tonight. Uh, that's pretty good for me, 150 carry around that mark with a seven. And all of them were quite good. They all sort of hit that green. So I was, I, I was really pleased with that. But again, totally different spin numbers. Um, RXS a little bit down on speed, on ball speed and, and down on spin. So softer ball, not spinning. Again, the highest spin was the XS, the Tiger Ball, followed by the X, the Bryson Ball, and then the RX was, you know, they're similar, those top three, but uh, they were the same order in spin for the seven iron and the wedge. So all felt, um, you know, hit them all nicely. So that, that's a pretty good comparison, I think, but very, very different spin numbers. Okay, so driver. I've got some data. I'll just, I'll hit a few along with the uh, viewers here. Stealth, Ventus, Red, 6S. I've already got the data for the driver. Um, I hit a whole bunch before and got the data. We'll have a look at it in a second. This is the RXS green box, Freddy Couples. It's out of the toe, so that should really hunt. Um, Again, just feels soft, so I'm not sure, 
you know, it'd be interesting to see how that data shows up. Uh, that was quite nice. Um, you can see how far out the toe that was. But well worth looking up the data for that one. Here's the tour. BRX, red box, used it last week playing. Actually in the uh, th three man, three hole celebrity challenge, I use this ball. This feels firmer, it just feels good. Again, that was a little toey. Just got some going. Tour BXS. Tiger Woods ball. The, the RX is the Lexi ball. Maybe that's why I like it. Red box, red everything here. Anyway, Tiger Woods ball, BXS. I hit that good too. Got the driver going. It's good, pretty good for me. And then, um, shows how forgiving this thing is. That was seven mil toe, five mil low. Uh, still went really good. And then this is the hard ball. This is the Bryce and Matt Kucha ball. This one, I feel like I can really get this one. Probably the longest, but we'll see. It's maybe a little low in the face. Again, not bad. A little bit of straighty. I think low in the face. Yeah, a bit yuck. It was a bit yuck. But it's certainly the hardest ball. We'll have a look at the... Um, at the data that I got from them. Okay, so now we've got the results with the driver. And again, the RXS, I mean, you look at this, let's look at the spin. They're all almost identical. The BX driver was a little bit higher spin than anything. And technically the lowest spin was the RXS driver, but it went the shortest distance. It didn't have the ball speed. 148.8, the others were over the 150, and the X ball was 153. So the X ball went the furthest, 243 on average carry, which for me, that's a, that's a good average carry. That is very good. Um, and, you know, this data to me is pretty accurate. The, again, the ones that wanted to shoot a little higher is the X and the RXS. They wanted to just shoot a little higher. Same as with the wedge, they wanted to shoot a little higher. Having a look at the club, I've hit them all. I mean, I, I tend to, yes, you know, the, the B I have hit, uh, the B X, sorry, I've hit probably the lowest on the face. And that does contribute, but they're, they're all pretty close there as far as where I've hit them on the face. Um, you know, in all fairness, club head speeds were similar. I was probably down a little bit on the RXS but not much, you know, we're talking one mile an hour, but that's, you know, that's equivalent to a couple of meters. So we have it, um, you know, that's kind of what I was feeling as well. And that X ball definitely goes the furthest for me. Okay, so there you have it, the lineup of Bridgestone golf balls. I think they're fabulous. I'm still in two minds as to which one to play, to be honest. Um, but I've likened them like lollies. I like lollies. And so the Tour B X ball, I think it's like a boiled lolly. Straight from Sovereign Hill, the raspberry drops. They're hard, it's hard. It'll get you through the day. It does a good job. The, the Tour B XS, it's like, it's like a Hershey Kisses, right? The little Hershey Kisses, here you go. You know, it's pretty soft, it's nice, it's pretty tasty, it's a good ball. The RX, one of my little favorites, well, it's really, it's like a peanut m and So good, firm on the outside, hmm. pretty good, good crunch, but hmm. not bad. 
a little bit soft on the inside, a little bit of spin. And then the RXS, mate, this is what I liken it to. The Pascal Marshmallow. Soft, very soft, bulk softness. Mm. So nice. It is, but feels like a marshmallow. So, I don't love it. It's too soft for me, but if you want a soft golf ball that doesn't spin and doesn't go very fast, or very far, perfect. Go to the RXS. Lose some distance, lose some spin, but gain some feel. Um, I know this is super popular, BXS, the Hershey chocolate version. Not for me. Too much spin. Um, but again, if you're looking for spin, it's, it's got some distance in it. But that would be ranked three. I don't know where to go here. I'd say this is my second favourite. The X-Ball. It goes the longest, so maybe it should be my, 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 my favourite. Went the longest, had some spin. The more I think about it, logically, probably should be the best ball. The RX, I just, I, again, I like the feel of it. Um, has sufficient spin, goes pretty far. So maybe that is number two. Maybe the winner for me, two or B. But I'll continue to play um, both of those over the coming weeks and, and see if I can settle on a ball. But there's something for everyone. There's certainly M&Ms for everyone if they want them. Um, but there you have it. That's the Bridgestone line of golf balls. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you check out our website, www.sydneygolftech.com.au. Heaps of good stuff on there. We've got a little online store. We've got, you know, contact us, ways to get in touch, uh, whatever it might be, information on how we fit and how we coach and things like that. So really good little website. Have a look on there. Make sure you press like and subscribe to this video and let us know if there's anything we can do.